I'm the biggest Zelda fan in the entire world, baby. <laughs> Proof? Bro, got the Hylian shield on my wall, Master Sword over my head held up by two nails I found off the sidewalk, and a tattoo of a Triforce on my taint. You guys can't see that one. After I got done playing with Breath of the Wild and I heard that they were gonna make another Zelda game with the same engine, I was like, bro, we get to play another Zelda game in this decade. Boy, was I wrong. Delay after delay, I wouldn't be surprised if I got to play this before I had a wife and kids. Nintendo, this is literally just an obese Breath of the Wild DLC, bro. What are you doing? To enact my revenge on Nintendo for making me wait this long, I'm gonna make Tears of the Kingdom in like three days and sell it for a fraction of the price. Okay, may maybe not sell. <laughs> This is Unity. This is where we're gonna be making the game. The game plan is I'm just gonna make a proof of concept with everything that I've seen in all the trailers so far. Anything that I thought was interesting, I'm gonna add into the game. Things that I won't be adding is a stamina bar because I already maxed that thing out in Breath of the Wild. Climbing is a maybe because I wanna make the new stuff. Been there, done that. Now we have to get to the first step of this game development journey. I've never made a third person game before. A lot of people have trouble with third person cameras. Lucky for me, I know of a tool that's hidden in Unity's back rooms. It's called a cinema sheet. Plop her on a character and you got yourself a working third person camera, baby. I wish everything worked like that. The next step in any game development journey is you could either work on the movement system, close the program. After I reopened Unity, I got the bean running. Simple character controller, no rigid bodies, I'm sorry. The next thing that makes this a Zelda game and not just any other game is the lock-on mechanics. I love locking on to stuff, bro. I found a nice easy peasy tutorial online that allows me to lock on to stuff. Even added a little sprite there that's temporary. Cool, I can move around and jump and blah 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 but i know i'm gonna get a lot of angry comments of people saying bro that is not zelda that's a bean i'm gonna make zelda okay i'm gonna make zelda and blender open blender a professional 3d modeling program to execute my modeling skills my actual extent of 3d modeling knowledge was making a small walmart horror game my second attempt at modeling was even better for some reason i couldn't find any like character shoots and links so i had to make my own oh, what the fuck i just found this one online i had to cut off his head and use my artistic ability to rebuild it i brought it in the blender and i started recreating them at first, he was looking more like Stink, but as I started adding materials to him, he turned right into Link again. I kind of forgot that he had a new look now, so I just gave him a cape and then that arm thing. I like how I did the arm thing. I just selected all the faces on his arm. I extruded it, deleted some faces, made the under part green. Look at that. So I threw him in Unity. Boom, there we go. You wanted him to have bones? Weird, dude. Unfortunately, my blender was in survival mode, so I had to go collect the bones myself. After I threw the bones on the big boy, I'll move his arm and his ear would start doing some weird junk. I'm like, bro, that's not what it's supposed to do. So I had to learn about weight painting. Weight painting is pretty much how the bones know where they influence. So if I had a bone right here, this whole part would be red and everything else would be blue. Anyway, for some reason, whenever you apply the weights, the feet would be interacting with the ears and junk. And you have to go through every single bone and erase it manually. There's not just like a remove constraints button or nothing. But we got it done and he's actually moving around. I'm so glad that I learned this because I feel like I can make anything now. Now, as he's in unity let's get some animation baby as you guys know i'm a professional animator i've done it for years so i made the walking animate all right four out of ten i'll give you that but the running's all right not bad it's a little nice little running animation come on next i added a strafing animation for when you're locking on so i caved and i attempted a climbing system tempted a climbing system should not have done that then decided to go to the next most important thing of a zelda game combat system i just put a sword in link's hand and put a collider on it gave him a little animation so when he swung, it would hurt the person in front of him. I have to change the environment or else I was going to have to change the title of this video. I made a few islands and I just copied and pasted them around the map and ooh, it looks so much better. I was getting bored of all this junk, so I, I decided to make something cool from one of the trailers. The first feature that I added was the rollback time thing that they had in the second trailer. This is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. I really wanted to try to tackle it. So the way that I did it was I, I threw a script on the enemy that would track its position every certain amount of seconds. If the enemy was near me and I clicked the room button, it would instantiate a clear version of the enemy. And then it would cycle through those positions and teleport the enemy to those old positions. I feel like a freaking genius, bro. Elon Musk hit me up. DMs are open. I could build a rocket. Bro, rocket versus making a bokoblin. Oh yeah, I made a bokoblin. Oh, another thing that I added from the trailer was that cool bird thing that Link fell on. So I just added a collider on like this mesh. And whenever you jump on the collider, it sets your position to that point and it turns on an animation, right? Well, for some reason, Link starts getting squished into a little panini every time he gets on it. Hey, Linky, 
Why you up a nini? I don't know. Bro, 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 bro. What's that one game where Link does this? A feature, dude. I don't know what's happening, but I don't got time to fix it. It's like the third day. I don't know if I've been saying this. Day one, day two, day three, okay? Third day, and it's getting kind of late. So I was like, bro, what am I going to do? I'm not going to be able to make a whole game. So I decided that I was just going to remake the Breath of the Wild trailers with what I had. This was really good because I'm working on the Dino game multiplayer. I've been working on it for a few weeks. I've been messing with the timeline feature, which is pretty much Unity's way of making cutscenes. This thing is janky as hell. I had a ton of weird quirks about this thing that I have to learn about. You pretty much just have to reanimate things a billion times, but I was able to get something pretty freaking cool. I ended up realizing that I didn't even have the glider yet. So I went in the blender. I think I modeled the wrong glider though. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Enjoy. Oh, oh, my bad.